What's up, YouTube? Devon Diggity here, and today we're going to be going over the maintenance notice, the patch note that came out last night. The maintenance will be happening tonight um, at 10 to 12.30 a.m. Pacific, so I think that's... Um, it's like midnight to 2.30 a.m. my time, I believe, um, for the maintenance. But we're here to talk about what is here. So there is a new step up banner, guys. Um, this is the big thing. This is what everyone's been speculating about. And I'm going to share my thoughts and what I've seen a lot of people are talking about. And also a new Hawk Pass, which is sweet. I will definitely be picking that up on my main account just because it's only 8 bucks. Um, I feel like the value that you get out of the Hawk Pass is worth. It's pretty cool. So I will definitely be getting that, and we'll also talk about uh, the characters that people are talking about coming in that Hawk Pass as well. Then we have the stuff that's ending, the power-up event, so you'll still have um, another day to play it after tomorrow when the update drops, so that'll be ending on the 7th. And more details will be provided in a later notice. So hopefully Red Demon Melly is coming to the coin shop, and then we can pick him up and get his weapon right now that is in the sacred treasure shop that'd be really sick because that weapon is good for later on when blue demon melee comes out so now let's look at some of the characters that people are speculating that are going to come so the first character is Deldry. this is for hawk pass not the step up banner this is talking about the hawk pass right now so a lot of people think she's coming because of how death pierce and who is that other guy and Doji Doji Do were on the first Hawk Pass. They think Deldry and Arden will be coming on this Hawk Pass. This guy is Arden SR. Nothing special. I don't really know what he's used for. I have him on JP. I haven't used him at all yet. So when he gets released and we figure some more things out, I'll I'll probably do some video. I might do a video covering him and what he's good for. But we can go through his skills. Um. It's first attack inflicts poison for three turns. Okay, not the best. And then in inflicts collapse damage equal to 160% of attack. What is collapse damage? I don't know. Guess I'll have to look more into that. Anyway, and then his ult inflicts damage equals 560%. And decreases HP related stats by 40%. That doesn't seem bad. Um, he seems more of a support type unit for sure. Um, well, I guess not support, but like kind of like a debuffer, I guess. Ooh, when it joins the battle. Ooh, so I guess you want to use him as a, you could use him as a subunit for his unique to reduce ultimate gauge by two which is really cool so his unique is really interesting i'll give him that for sure but his cards don't seem the best but yeah let's look at uh deldry so deldry her first attack inflicts spike um so two times crit damage uh that's not bad um three star 400 percent blow kiss Increase HP related stats of an ally by 10 and apply a taunt. Okay. Hmm. So you're basically helping one of your allies and then they have to attack Deldry. Eh, it's not. I don't know. I've, I haven't seen anything about these units and or anyone really using them, so I don't know how they'll change. Or impact anything but right now they don't seem like amazing like oh my god do we need these units and love drive inflicts damage equal to 360% on all enemies and prevents ultimate move gauge from filling up that's useful base stats and nothing really jumps out of me here hmm and let's see your unique slave of love charm one enemy at the start of battle and pvp if the target uses a skill that will deal immediate damage to deldry the skill will be cancelled and no damage will be taken by any allies 
that seems good with her taunt because then you just you taunt and then they can't use any of that enemy's cards and I guess you could get in a scenario where you kind of lock them out with that um, if you just don't focus the enemy that's charmed so that <laughs> it seems it seems kind of meme -y. I don't I don't know how actually good it is but it does seem kind of meme -y, so could be interesting we'll have to see I definitely I feel like that would be fun to test out and yeah okay now let's talk about the characters that everyone thinks is coming on the step up so the big big debate right now is between two characters this blue Elizabeth and Lilia oh not blue well, I don't know. Uh, I think it's green. Yeah, green Lilia. So let's take a look at Lilia first. She has a unique darkness. Decrease all enemy attack by 16% in PvP. That is really, really good. Really good skill right there. Then she has her first attack, which deals 180% and decreases attack. So basically, she's just a really, really good attack debuffer. And then she increases the damage enemies take. So you put her on a team with someone that has really good AoE, like King, his ultimate, and you can deal some massive damage. And you'll still be really tanky because there you can reduce their attack a lot. And then her ultimate um, is an AoE, so she works with herself really well with the Rec Room and the Starlink, doing 350% attack on all enemies and decreases skill ranks and then depletes ultimate gauge for each skill rank decrease. That is crazy. That's a crazy ultimate effect right there. So if she comes out, I would definitely say summon. She is seems like a really, really good unit. But people don't think she's coming yet because I guess the lore of the disasters come with the slime collab and we don't know if that's coming next or not but the more realistic thing that's coming out which everyone has been talking about is this blue elizabeth now this unit does seem like a skip like you you don't really want to summon for her but based on what they put in the step up um, that might convince some people to summon, especially because the tavern item with the three hour demon raids is apparently in her step up. And a lot of people want that because having the three hour timer instead of just an hour is a lot better for people because they can just farm all the boss battles. They don't have to worry about their demon raids expiring and then they can still like do their raid, help someone else a lot easier and it'll be more flexible in the time slot whether it's having an hour where you're like, oh no, I can't miss this raid. I got to do it now. And But oh, someone invited me, but then my other raid is going to expire, stuff like that. So that might convince people to summon, but other than that, I, I'll probably skip her if that item isn't in there if it is i might summon to get it depending on how many gems it is because i i just feel like there's better things coming along and some of the cosmetics that are going to release in the in the shop um i really want to pick out and rather use my diamonds for those instead but let's take a look at elizabeth she has shiny explosion she disables debuffs so yeah that's kind of i guess useful um brilliant protection removes debuffs from one ally and heals hp from one ally equal to 300 percent of attack so she's a support unit uh fills the ultimate gauge just like green elizabeth which is nice but her real her real thing here is her unique so when she dies she heals hp of all allies to max and removes debuffs Fills the ultimate gauge by two. So if you guys haven't seen the cheese strat, what people have been doing, they do it with Dreyfus, but you can also do it with Elizabeth, is you just leave her at level one, and when she's at level one, what you do is you just go and... You leave her level one, you wait for her to die, and then that boosts your other two units, so then you can just spam their ultimates faster. Um, it doesn't work as well as a Dreyfus because Dreyfus gives you full HP and I think we can, or Fraudrin, Fraudrin it is, not Dreyfus, sorry. 
Um, we can go look at him on the JP side of what people have been doing. So we can do that real quick. Let's see. Route. Is it this? No, it's, it's the blue one. It's this guy. Yeah, so when the hero dies, remove debuffs and fill all allies and fill their ultimate and move gauge to max. So you basically get two free ultimates when you just leave this guy at level one. Really cheese. Uh, people have been doing it though. And the same thing is going to happen with this Elizabeth. People are definitely going to try it. But yeah. So that's about it for the patch notes um, that people think are coming. Um, it's either Lilia or Elizabeth, pretty much. Or if they really do surprise us and throw, like, the start of a summer um, exclusive event or something like that, that would be really cool. I would definitely probably summon on that if it's the summer exclusive stuff with, like, cosmetics and stuff because it only comes out once a year. You want to try and grab it when it comes out. But, yeah. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. You found it useful. If you did, please leave a comment. Let me know really helps me out and I love talking to you guys and now um, if you guys go in the description there will be a link to my discord and uh, we have people in there that will help you we love love helping new players that is one of our goals is to just help new players and uh, watch them grow in the game and so you just go in there we'll answer any of your questions you can post I'm in there we have many other players in there that are always willing to help you guys and yeah Thanks, guys, and YouTube, we'll see you later.